All right, this quick example is going to talk about how to count bit strings. So let's answer this question. How many bit strings are there of length five that start with one one or with zero? Now, just to make sure that everybody's clear what we're talking about, um, a bit string is just a um, it's just a list that only has ones or zeros. So some bit strings of list five would be you know one 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 zero one zero 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 uh, and so on and so forth. So that is a bit string. And actually these are all bit strings of length five. Now bit strings that start with um, one one would be that start with one one. Well this would be an example of a bit string that started with one one. Um, you know, another one would be one one zero zero zero. That would be another bit string that started with one one. Bit string that ended with zero. Well, this is an example of a bit string that ends with zero. This is an example of one that ends with zero, and this is an example of one that ends with zero. In particular, um, that last one has a red circle and a green circle, which means it begins with one one and it ends with zero, which is something we have to keep in mind when we're working this problem out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, suppose we wanted to answer this, this other question. What if we wanted to answer this question? How many bit strings of length five are there? And the reason I'm doing this one is so I can show you uh, the um, the the way that I'm, I'm, I'm going to write these, okay? So it's going to look like this. It's going to be a bit string, and I'm drawing these stars to mean I don't know what it's going to be. Each star could represent a one or a zero, okay? So think about this. How many choices do I have for this first place? Well, I have two choices. It can be a one or a zero, and I have two choices for the second place. Since that's an and probably since it's an and counting, uh, we multiply. So it's two times two, times two, times two, times two, or two to the fifth power, or thirty-two. There are thirty-two bit strings of length five. Okay. Now let's see how many there are. Um, so the the first part of answering the this this the main question is. Um, what about that start with one one? Well, they're going to be of the form one one star star star. So there are two times two times two, or two to the whoops, not a three. Let me fix that real quick. Two times two times two, or two to the third power, or eight. So there are eight that start with one one. What about end with zero? Well, they're going to be of the form star, 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 zero. So that's two times two times two times two, or two to the fourth power, which is 16. And then what about how many um, do both? So to answer that, let's uh, make a little bit more room here. So part C of this would be uh, how many do both. So this would be how many start with the one one and end with zero. Well, um, a bit string of length five that starts with one and one and ends with zero would be one one star star zero so there are two times two which is oops uh not four squared but i mean to say two squared which is four and so then to answer the final question how many start with one one or end with zero it would be the number that start with one one there are eight of them plus the number that end with zero, 16 of them, minus the number that uh, that start with one one and end with zero, because I have double counted those. So it's going to be eight plus 16 minus four, 
or 20.